What's up guys, Apple ITR here, and today I'm going to be showing you 10 more amazing Cydia tweaks for your jailbroken iDevices running on iOS 11.3.1, as well as all versions of iOS 11. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to say that all Cydia tweaks shown will be listed in the video description below, as well as their sources. With that being said, let's get into it. So the first Cydia tweak I'm going to be going over today is called Kill Background 11. And what Kill Background 11 allows you to do is pretty much close all of your background apps running in one foul swoop. So pretty much what you're able to do with Kill Background 11 is simply tap a button and close all of the background applications running on your iDevice. So this is the tweak in Cydia. Let me show you guys how it works. I have started around 10 or so applications that are currently running on my iPhone's background. And say I wanna close all of them at the same time without having to individually swipe and close each one up. So I'm gonna bring up the app switcher and as you guys can see on the bottom right hand corner, Kill Background 11 adds that little skull and crossbones button. So upon touching that button, all of the background apps will close. Just to show you guys, I now have no more apps running in my app switcher. So that again is called Kill Background 11. It lets you close all of your background apps in one button tap. All right, so the next tweak I have for you guys is called Glacier. And Glacier is a very simple tweak. All it does is it removes the backgrounds of your control center modules, and it gives your control center this really icy and transparent look. Like I said, this is a very simple tweak, guys. I already have it installed. Here it is in Cydia. I'm gonna go to my springboard. And as you guys can see, Glacier has given my control center this really cool, icy, and transparent look to it. So once again, this tweak is called Glacier. The next Cydia tweak I wanna show you guys today is called Better CCXI. And what this tweak allows you to do is make some slight improvements to the layout or organization of your iPhones or iPads control center. So just to show you guys what I mean, I'm going to bring up my control center. And as you guys can see, all of my connectivity buttons have been arranged in one row and my music module has been changed and moved to its own row as well. So Better CCXI also comes with some slight customization options in your iDevices settings. So here is the Better CCXI tab. I'm just gonna tap on that. And as you guys can see, we have options for connectivity module settings, as well as the music module settings. So we can pretty much change how much the connectivity module takes up in the control center. I have it on four wide by one tall, and we can choose how much the music module takes up in your control center. So this kind of gives your control center a more unified experience. When you're done selecting the various settings for the music module and connectivity module, all you guys have to do is just tap respring and you guys will get a cool modified looking version of your iDevices control center. So once again, this is called Better CCXI. The next Cydia tweak I wanna show you guys is called Smart LPM or Smart Low Power Mode. Now this tweak makes some serious enhancements and improvements to the functionality of low power mode on your iDevice. So after installing Smart LPM, you guys are going to have to do one thing in order for it to work, and you guys are only going to have to do this once. So after installing it, go to your system settings and find the Smart LPM settings pane if you scroll down a little bit. Tap on the settings tab and you guys will see the Smart LPM customization options. So what you guys are going to want to do is toggle on and off each and every Smart LPM toggle you see, like I am doing right now, and then find each slider and slide it to 100 and back down to zero. And I have done that and now Smart LPM is ready to go. You guys can now tap on the enable tweak toggle and turn on Smart LPM. Once it's been enabled, you guys will see a bunch of different options and settings here. The first one is low power while locked. This is my favorite one. 
While this is enabled, every single time I lock my iPhone, it will automatically go into low power mode. So I'm going to lock my iPhone. And as you guys can see, my device is now in low power mode. And now I'm going to unlock my iPhone. And my device has exited low power mode. So there are a couple other options here. You guys can turn on low power mode automatically while your device is charging. You guys can disable the low power alert that your device gets when it hits a certain battery level, and you can turn off auto lock on low power mode. Now there's some toggles with some sliders here. This first one right here is really cool and really helpful. You can enable and disable low power mode at a certain battery percentage. So if I toggle this on and set this slider to 48%, my device will automatically enter low power mode when it hits 48% battery. So that's a very useful feature guys and it really helps you save battery life. The second one is the same thing, but for while your device is charging. And the third one allows you to set a battery percentage at which the battery alert appears on your iPhone. So once again, this is called Smart LPM, a highly useful Cydia tweak. I really recommend this one guys. The next Cydia tweak I have for you guys today is called Quick Power Mode. Now this is a very simple Cydia tweak. It pretty much allows you to tap on the battery in the top right hand corner of your device and enable low power mode. And as you guys can see, I'm tapping on the top right hand corner or battery of my iPhone and I'm turning on and off low power mode. Very simple tweak guys, but very useful. Makes turning on low power mode a lot easier once again, this is quick power mode and here it is in Cydia. This next tweak here is called volume sound. And this tweak is also one of my favorites. What it does is it adds this sound effect similar to the volume up and down sound effect on the Mac. And every time you turn the volume up and down on your iPhone, it will play that Mac sound effect. Now I'll show you guys in just a second. There are also some settings you guys can mess around with with this tweak. You guys just download volume sound. You go into your app settings and you click on volume sound. You guys then turn it on and you click on configuration. And you guys can set it so it is the Mac volume change sound or the Yosemite volume change sound. And you can change these options for the volume increase and the volume decrease. So those are the configuration settings for volume sound. And here it is just to show you guys what it's like. The next city of tweak I have to show you guys today is called simple passcode buttons. Now this city of tweak pretty much just makes some small modifications to the passcode buttons on your iPhone's lock screen. So just to show you guys what I mean, I'm going to lock my phone. And as you guys can see, my passcode buttons have been simplified. The numbers have been removed and they're just a lot easier to look at. So I can just enter my passcode like this. And that is simple passcode buttons. Now simple passcode buttons comes with some customization options in your system settings. So you can just change the button style. You can do default, which is your standard iPhone's passcode button style. You can hide the letters or you can hide everything. Another simple tweak for you guys called simple passcode buttons. That's pretty much this tweak. This next city tweak I have for you guys is called Boxy 3. Now Boxy 3 is an amazing city tweak and it pretty much lets you completely redesign the look and feel of the icons on your iPhone springboard. So after installing Boxy, you guys will get an awesome settings configuration tab in your iPhone settings. If you click on it, you guys are going to want to toggle on enabled as well as toggle on enable quick settings. Once you've turned these two options on, you guys can mess around with the various configuration options and mess around with the icon layout settings. Now I have three columns and five rows. After you guys have changed around some of the settings to your liking, all you guys have to do is tap on apply changes and you guys will get something cool like this. Now, as you guys can see, my springboard has been completely redesigned. I have a completely different layout of icons and everything just looks amazing here.
So with Boxy, you guys can do a live customization of the layout of your springboard. You guys are just going to want to slide up anywhere on your home screen and the Boxy configurations tab will pop up. So as you guys can see, we can mess around with the horizontal padding just like so and the boxy tab will become a little translucent so you can see where the icons are going and we can mess around with the vertical padding and we can space out the icons vertically we can mess around with the horizontal position of the icons on the home screen and we can mess around with the vertical position of the icons on the home screen. Now this tab and this little window can also be moved around the home screen like so. If you guys just wanna see the actual edit or customization of your icons. So say that I really like this layout right here. All I'm going to do is just tap on add and I can actually save this custom layout as a preset. So I'm just gonna say hello click add and if I go slide to the left I can look at all my presets so I have this second preset saved as an example this was what you guys first saw when I went to my home screen I'm just gonna click select and the icons will arrange themselves into that saved preset now say I want to go to that preset we just made named hello I'm going to select hello and click select and as you guys can see, the icons will configure themselves like that preset we just made. So this tweak, Boxy 3, also works really well with cylinder. I have a cylinder effect applied. And as you guys can see, as I shift through my pages, you guys will see that cool cylinder effect applied to the Boxy layout. And I just think this tweak is amazing, guys. Once again, it's called Boxy 3. I highly suggest this one. This next Cydia tweak I have for you is called Silent Screenshot. Now Silent Screenshot just allows you to customize the look and feel of the screenshot function on your iDevice. So here we are in the settings tab for Silent Screenshot. I have the tweak enabled and I have a custom flash color enabled. So as you guys can see, I chose a light blue for my flash color. And I will just show you that whenever I take a screenshot on my device, the flash color is light blue. Now you guys can also turn off this little preview that pops up in the bottom left hand corner of your screen when you take a screenshot just by checking preview and white flash off. So I'm going to take another screenshot again. And as you guys can see, that weird little preview doesn't pop up on the bottom left hand corner of my screen again. There are a few other settings you guys can mess around with, with silent screenshot, but that's pretty much the tweak. It just lets you customize the look of that screenshot on your iDevice. The last and final tweak I'll be showing you guys today is called Semperon. Now Semperon is a tweak that enables always on functionality for your iDevice. So as you guys know, with the Samsung Galaxy, there is a feature called always on and the lock screen is always displayed on the device no matter what, the device never gets dark. Now Semperon enables this feature for iOS. So here we are in the settings app for my iPhone. There's the Semperon tab. We're just gonna tap on that and we're gonna enable some various settings. Now we can always change the brightness as well of the always on screen just so it's not too bright and it won't use as much battery. Now the good thing about Semperon is it really doesn't use much battery in the first place. Now that is according to the developer. I haven't really tested it out too much. I just have used it for a little bit. So I can't really say if it drains my battery or not. But after enabling Semperon, all you guys have to do is just lock your device. And I am now in always on mode. So as you guys can see, my device is just black. I can just leave it here and my device will just sit here with the time and the date. So guys, this is an amazing feature. It doesn't use that much battery according to the developer and it's called Semperon. And it pretty much replicates that Samsung Galaxy always on feature. So those are all the tweaks guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please make sure to drop a comment, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one.